OpenZava provides a set of project templates so you don't have to start your new OpenZava project from scratch. In this video, we are going to create a ready-to-use CRM using one of those templates. The first step is to start OpenZava Studio and choose the option to create a new project. When we click to create a new project, we find the template field. When we open it, we see several templates that we can use as a base for creating our new project, such as basic, master detail, CRM, project management, or invoicing. In this case, we are going to choose CRM. We choose English as the language, then enter our project name, MYCRM and change the package to com.mycompany. We click finish, wait a few seconds. And our CRM is ready. We open the folder with the source code of our project and examine the model package, where we can see a group of entities already created that are the basis of our application. Let's test the application. We wait for it to start. And finally, we copy the URL that the console shows into our browser. To use our CRM, the first step is to log in using admin, admin. Upon logging in, we see that we have two modules available, a lead module to manage leads or potential clients, and another module, lead status, which is an auxiliary module. Let's look at the latter first. We click on lead status, and we can see a list of prospect statuses that we already have available. In this module, we can modify or expand this list. Now we go to the lead module, which is the core of our small CRM. We will test it by creating a new prospect. We enter the name, Amanda Smith. Then we choose the status. Note that these are the statuses we saw in the lead status module. We type the description for our lead. Notice how we are using a rich text editor for this. We switch tabs to enter the observations. It turns out Amanda has a nice car and we note that down. We go to the Activities tab, where we can see an editable list to note down all the interactions we have with Amanda. Notice how the list grows automatically as we fill in lines. And in the last tab, we will upload some attachments simply by dragging and dropping. Notice how the images show a preview, allowing us to enjoy Amanda's car. We now have Amanda's data organized into tabs. We click save and go to the list. There is Amanda, we select her. We can see that all the data we entered is in place. To finish, we delete the record we created so that the automated tests we will run later work well. As you can see, it is a simple CRM, but it is fully functional and a perfect base to build your own CRM tailored to your needs. But the most interesting thing is that we use drop-down lists, rich text, editable tables, tabs, and attachments. This allows us to examine the application source code to learn how to achieve these things with OpenZava. Let's get to it. To get the CRM we've seen, the only code you need are these three classes in the model package. The main one is lead, let's take a look at it. As you can see, it is a simple Java class annotated with that entity. The properties we declare in the class appear as fields in the user interface, like name which is of type string. At descriptions list is used to create a drop-down list or combo box, in this case, the combo box to choose the prospect status. Lead status code is a simple entity with two properties. This entity generates the lead status module we saw at the beginning. Now we will learn how to create rich text editors. It is very easy, you just need to annotate the string properties you want with that HTML text, in this case, description and remarks. Defining an editable table, like the one we saw for activities, is also very easy. 
We just need to define a collection of the data type we want each row to represent and annotate that collection with that element collection. In this case, it is a collection of activity, let's see its code. A simple class with two properties, description and date. And now the attachments. Just annotate a string property with that files to achieve this, as we see in the attachments property. By default, OpenZava draws all the properties of the class one below the other, but we can specify which properties we want to display and how we want them arranged using the at view annotation. For example, using commas to separate the properties places them side by side, while a semicolon indicates a new line. To distribute the properties into tabs, which in the OpenZava world we call sections, you just need to indicate the name of the section and enclose the properties it will contain in curly braces. But there's more. This project includes the code for automated tests. We open SRC, test, Java to see a class with a JUnit test. We open lead test, and we can take a look at what the code for automated testing of an OpenZava module looks like. Running the test is very simple. Right-click on the project, go to Run As, and choose the JUnit test option. Now all the JUnit tests in the project are running, which in this case is just one. OpenZava's automated tests use a headless web browser to run the OpenZava modules, exactly as a user would with a real browser. Step by step, it checks that everything is working as expected. Fantastic! It came out green. I advise you to carefully examine the source code of this test because it will help you learn how to create automated tests for your own applications. If you liked what you saw, but you don't work with OpenZava Studio and prefer to use IntelliJ, Visual Studio Code, or simply Maven with the command line, no problem. The template to create an OpenZava CRM is actually a Maven archetype that you can use from your favorite development environment. The archetype is OpenZava CRM archetype. Did you like what you saw? In that case, we encourage you to try creating a CRM yourself using the template and examine the resulting code, because you will be able to learn many things, such as the use of rich text fields, user editable tables, attachments, tabs, JUnit automated tests, etc. Tell us how it goes and if you have any problems, don't hesitate to ask us in the forum. Bye.